away from nuclear energy. Clean to make, clean to use, cleans the total environment. A prize round trip to the moon if you can find a stack emitting smoke at Trojan. We don't have one. No smoke means not adding to the load of tiny solid particles in the air. No smoke also means no bad smells. The air at Trojan is clean. What about the cooling tower? Is that a smokestack? Will it cause a fogging problem? Will it produce a great increase in rainfall? No, on all counts. The tower emits only water vapor. No impurities, no radioactivity. The vapor is dispersed quickly more than 600 feet above the river level. So the air is not affected by producing electricity from nuclear energy. How about the water? Heard about the thermal effect? That's the term describing the change in temperature of water used to cool power plants and then released back to the river, lake, or ocean from whence it came. Many power plants use a once-through, in-and-out system, and this can raise the water temperature fractionally. At Trojan, we use a different system, a cooling tower. Only a small proportion of the water is returned to the river, and that's pre-cooled in the tower. Result, the increase in water temperature at the river surface immediately above the outlet will not be over a tiny fraction of one degree. It cannot even be measured as the Columbia rolls downstream. What about visual pollution? Nuclear plants don't have to be close to their fuel supply. They can be close to the users, eliminating miles of transmission lines necessary for hydroelectric plants, for example. Nuclear plants have sculptural forms that can be architecturally pleasing. And the sites are sufficiently extensive so that large areas can be set aside for recreation, enjoyment of nature, as at Trojan. All the end uses of electricity are clean, non-polluting. For example, heating for homes, offices, factories. Or transportation. A clean electrical system like San Francisco's Bay Area Rapid Transit can eliminate 15 freeway lanes of smog-producing cars from the city each day. Cars themselves can run on electricity someday, emitting nothing bad to the air. Electricity, lots of it, is necessary to clean up the mess man has made of his environment. Right now, several nearby industries each use more than 60 million kilowatt hours of electricity annually for air and water pollution control. And what about water? Today, most towns and cities dump only partially treated sewage into waterways. To upgrade existing sewage systems will require more kilowatts. Mills and factories need more kilowatts to clean up their effluent. And electricity is necessary for recycling solid wastes so that we won't be living on a mountain of garbage. Machines that rip shred car bodies require electric motors of up to 10,000 horsepower. In reclamation, almost all of the steel in the Northwest is based on scrap metal reprocessed in electric furnaces. And electricity heats and powers our schools and laboratories to produce new mines with new solutions to our complex environmental problems. Cities in others are fighting a desperate battle with smog and other pollutants which destroy beauty, make eyes smart, cause disease, kill trees and plants. 